Celebrations are planned all over the country today as the nation marks Juneteenth, a 155-year-old holiday celebrating the emancipation of slaves down in Galveston. For many, especially here in the Houston area, Juneteenth is just as common as Labor Day or the 4th of July, but now people, more and more people across the country, coming on board to honor this holiday. We have live team coverage for you tonight. We begin with Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers live in Edo, where Houston rapper and social activist Trey the Truth hosted a peace ride for justice. Brittany? Yeah, earlier today, this parking lot here was full of drivers, and they made their way up here on Emancipation Avenue. And organizers and Trade the Truth all said that while this was a drive, the important part here is to continue discussions and to push for change. A ride for justice. We're going to take this time to ride through the city of eight town let them know that we will not be silent. The cars drew the crowds, but it's the people driving home a message. Right is right, wrong is wrong. It's a lot of people that, that's not being served justice that we have to stand up for. I know right now we're living in really hard times, and anything we, that we could do to help the black community is very essential and important. Humanity equality is important to all of us. Rapper and local activist Trey The Truth doesn't want victims of police brutality to be forgotten. He says the peace ride is a way to remember the victims and bring the community together. The day of the ride, Juneteenth, also significant. It's a day for, for all, all people to be free, but I'm changing the narrative and I'm going to make it a day that we free us. This peace ride for justice meant to honor all victims. But we also got to remember that we got to keep this fight up. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take a lot of people. Say his name. George Floyd. But LaTanya Floyd says hearing her brother's name in this crowd makes her smile. I miss him. I love him so, so much. You know, God knows I do. But all these people, you know what I'm saying, the unity, the love, genuine love for my brother, I, he, to me, he's still here. Remembering their names and pushing for change is something Trey the Truth says he won't ever give up on. It's a momentum I felt that the whole world picked up at the same time. So it would be a total loss for us not to continue doing what we're supposed to do. Now, organizers don't have a final tally, but they do believe there were about 200 people uh, who attended that ride today. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News.